Hi friends, it's Vanessa. So I am going to go run some errands and I have a massage appointment. Yay. Sorry, I'm a, I'm a little bit frazzly. I'm a mess. I feel like I haven't done a video in a long time. I couldn't find this little mount to hold my, my camera on and I was kind of freaking out. And then of course it was right in front of my face the whole time, but I've been looking for it. So here I am. I'm ready. No makeup. No nothing. I rinsed my face off. That's it. Um, normally I, I'll spray the milk toner on, but I don't have it with me. So it's in the other bathroom. So I'm going to use some of the stay spray and I think I'll use the one without SPF if I can find it. Here it is. So you can use your setting spray as a primer also. So that's what I'm going to use it for. So I'm going to do a couple of squirts. You can let that dry if you don't, if you're impatient, like sometimes I am. I'll dampen, um, I'll dampen the sponge. Hi, Sandra. And anyway, so I just use my stay spray as my primer on my face. I'm going to show you something before I start my makeup, though. I forgot to clean my brushes yesterday, and they're a few dirty days old. So there's quite a bit of buildup on them. So I want to show you dirty brush. Dirty brush. This side isn't as dirty, but that side's definitely dirty. This one's got contour on it. That one's got some highlight color on it. So I'm just going to show you how I clean my brushes. This is called the Restore. It's amazing. It instantly cleans, it sanitizes, and it conditions your brushes. The great thing about this, instead of using soap and water, is that you're not going to worry about getting water down in here and loosening the glue over time. Mascara brushes do have a one-year warranty, so that's amazing. So if you if you do lose any bristle, bristles, you can email mascara and they will send you a new brush within a year. So that's awesome. But anyway, I'm going to show you how quick this is to clean it. This bottle is almost empty. I'm going to do another video later that shows all the free stuff that I got just in the past month and um, from being an artist, but you can actually get free stuff just from hosting a party or a class or a get together with your girlfriends, whatever you want to call it, but you can get the same rewards that I get. So anyway, I just did a few sprays on that. I have a bunch of these um, just white washcloths or washcloths that I don't mind if I get dirty, but look at all that that came out of there. I'm going to do just a couple more squirts because I think I let it dry too long while I was yapping. But anyway, so I just kind of rub it and you can, you can kind of get in there, but now it is beautifully, perfectly clean and it dries in seconds so I can use it right away. So I'm just gonna show you real quick. I'm gonna clean all my brushes and how little is in left in my bottle. I'm sure there's gonna be enough to do all of my brushes. So just kinda rub that off. Nice and beautiful and clean. I'll use, this is called the detail hack. And then I'm gonna do kind of a quick makeup today because I am running errands. So I just want to be kind of presentable. So spray that on there. See that? Look at all that that came off. Um, my eyeshadow. Oh, this is my detail hack. So I use this for like, I'm sorry, this is my multitasker. I use this for my eyebrows, my eyeliner, spot covering, pimples. So you can see that there's some product on there. So I'll just. Are you guys still there? My connection said it just went off. Can somebody like wave at me or just say hi or let me know if you're seeing this? Otherwise, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna turn that light back on. Look at all that that came off. That was my eyebrow and eyeliner. But now my brush is all beautiful and white and clean again. Well, I hope this is recording. I really want somebody to just let me know, wave at me, or say hey. I'll keep going. It says I'm live, I don't know. This is my eyeshadow everything brush. I love this brush, but look at how dirty that side is. So let's find a clean spot on my towel. Oh, I'm getting to the end of my bottle. All right, look at that. There was obviously a few days of eyeshadow on there. But look at how beautiful. Oh, I can do one more. I see a little bit on there still. The bristles look almost a bluish white on the tips when they're clean. 
Oh, good. I think I'm still going live. It was off for a little bit there for a second. Look at how beautiful and clean that is. So if you don't have the Restore brush cleaner, I recommend it. I've used other brush cleaners, um, and I've never used something that is this easy. It goes really far in comparison to the other ones that I used to use. It's definitely less expensive, and it smells amazing. It's like a light cotton candy vanilla scent. So it's not too sweet, it's not overpowering, but my bathroom always smells really good. Um, okay, so I pretty much, I have this one, I'll clean this one too. Gosh, look at how dirty those were. It's pretty impressive. So this is the B squared brush. This one is technically for blush and bronzer. But if you don't already know, you can use all of your brushes for different things. Try try a different end of a different brush for your highlight color or your contour, and you'll be surprised. You might find just one that covers a whole lot easier. Okay, so all my brushes are clean now. They're all beautiful. They look brand new. They're all, see how they kind of look bluish when they're nice and clean? All right, I'm just going to do super quick makeup. And I, let me get that out of the way. I like to use the blush side of my B squared. I feel like for a little bit more mature skin, uh, it kind of goes into my pores a little bit nicer. So I'm gonna start with a, a little bit of this, and I've been mixing a couple colors. So this is my personal palette. I know it looks a little crazy, but I've been mixing a couple colors, so don't mind me, I'm dabbing into everything. And then I'm just gonna get that on. Oh, this brush smells so good. So if you already own the Restore Brush Cleaner, tell me what you think of it. I seriously have never used anything that was so easy and that I can put my makeup on immediately after I cleaned it. Like it's dry, it's clean, it's sanitized, you don't have to rinse it out. It's done. So I'm, I told you I wanted, I'm just running errands, so I'm doing kind of a fast makeover here. I'm going to put a little bit on my eyelids. I might use a little bit of powder eyeshadow, but it's going to be pretty quick. Um, I want to show you, this is the detail hack. I really love this side for my contour, but this side I like to use to get up under my eyes. And I said I'm going to do simple, but of course I'm, of course I'm going to do a little extra. So I've been using a color called Mango, and it totally doesn't look... This is it right here. It doesn't look like it would match my skin. It's way too dark to put all over, but it is amazing for counteracting dark circles. And if you just put a tiny bit right under there, it helps neutralize it. And then later, I'm gonna let that kind of warm up. Sometimes I'll put this on at the very, very beginning. I'm put a little around my nose too. Then I can go over it with my lighter color. So I put my uh, my highlight color all over. I'm going to take a little bit lighter and I'm going to put a pop of it right there. So I'll take a lighter color that I have. And see, I'm not even going to blend it because I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with that later. So I'm going to grab my contour. And they came up with a new color and it's called Astoria. And I'm in love with it. And then another new color called Coal. This is usually for the darkest of dark skin. But... I'm pretty fair. I've been mixing these and I'm getting a beautiful contour out of it. Also this, um, I'm sorry, it's called Cola. Cola is an amazing eyeliner also. If you have darker hair, you can use it to fill in your eyebrows as you can the Astoria, which I will be doing. So I'm gonna just show you, I go dab, dab, and then I'm doing one dab in that nearly black. But even on fair skin, It's a fantastic color. Look at how that just looks like a shadow immediately. So dab, dab, dab. And I'm not a swiper in my product, I'm a dabber. I feel like if I swipe, I get way too much and then you're wasting it. And then you have to blend a lot more too. So I'm gonna do that. I have a little bit left over on my brush. So I'll do my gel line. Get rid of my little gels right there. You can also use this on the side of your nose as a contour. You know, this is kind of a little extra, but I'll just kind of dab, dab. And I'll use the same brush. I'm kind of squeezing it together with my fingers. And I'm going to draw a line. 
and I'm kind of getting on the top side, the more of the top than the side of your nose. And when you do this, you're going to want to look straight on because if you don't, you can, if you're a little off like this, you'll draw a crooked line and then you'll just make your nose look crooked. So my nose is a little bit more bulbous on this side, so I put a little bit more dark on that side. So there's that. You can put a little under there if you want. So don't worry. I know this looks a little harsh. I'm going to blend it. I'm going to put a little bit up here. Another amazing thing about this product, if you get too much, most of the time you can just blend it out. See how that just gave me three-dimensional. It's called 3D foundation. So now I'm going to use my perfector sponge and I'm going to dampen it really well. Then you're going to squeeze it out and you don't want it dripping. So I always grab a, um, I'll use the other side of this towel and I just kind of squeeze it out a little bit because you want it wet, but you don't want anything dripping. So very damp. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to blend my highlight color. I like to do that first and I use the pointier side to get up under my eyes. And then you can flip it over and do your contour. And I kind of do it in a little bit of a patting motion, but I push it up. So, got that. So I like to blend these two things first. And then I go back and do my um, cheek color. Now a lot of times I'll do my eyeshadow before all of this makeup. But since I'm just doing something really quick, uh, I'm not as concerned about it. So let's take, let's do fast makeup. So let's take that same contour color that I used, Astoria, fill in my eyebrows. Eyebrows are the picture frame to your eye. Don't forget them. They really do make a huge difference. It just kind of brightens everything up. I'm also going to take some of that same color and I'm going to put it in the crease. And because it's a cream, it doesn't have to be perfect because I can blend it with my finger or the sponge. So I'm just going to get a little bit in there instead of using a powder eyeshadow, which we also have and they're amazing. And they're actually coming out with a ton of new colors and they're reformulating them. So there, see, nothing fancy. Now I'm going to take my cheek color, and I've been using this color called Plum. This is a newer color also. It's gorgeous. And I'm going to use, let's use the same B squared brush. I'm not even going to wipe it off, okay? This is what I used my highlight on. So I'm going to dab, 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 dab. And then I'm going to blend it a little bit with the brush. A lot of times I'll... Um, I'll use the setting powder before I do this, but like I said, this is an errand's day. Now look, got a little too much on, not a big deal. Take your perfector sponge that's nicely dampened, and you just kind of dab, 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 and it blends all in with your skin. You can do the same on that color that I put on my eyes. See? And then the same uh, color that I just put on my cheeks, I'm just going to stick some on my eyelids to kind of tie all that together. So there's that. You can also use this on your lips. I need to take my comments away. So if I miss a comment by you guys, sorry, but it was covering my screen. So you can use it as a lip color. I'm going to go back to that um, brush that I filled in my eyebrows with and put some of that eyeshadow on. And I want to just show you this is an extra, but you can actually use this color as lip liner too. Everything's intermixable, so don't don't get stuck in your rut. Try try mixing things. Try try doing different things. Okay, so I've got all that on, and now the last thing that I do is I spot cover things. I'm not going to go too crazy today because I'm just running errands. But remember that color I put under my eye to counteract my dark circles? I'm just going to take the lighter color that I use under my eye. And I'm just going to really lightly pat over that. You can use your brush. You can use your sponge. I like to use my finger just because it's warm. And I can just get a little bit in there. Brighten that up. And then I'll take my multitasker brush. 
and I'll use the other end of it and I'll just cover those couple of pimples that I have I'm doing this in my phone camera so anyway what are you guys doing today Monday's my day off so I run errands all right I think that's good so now you can use your setting spray. This time, this is called Stay Spray. This time I'm gonna use the one with the SPF 30 in it. Close your eyes. You can let it dry or you can grab your sponge and you can just pat it in there. The one with the SPF, I like to pat it in there just to make sure it's all spread. And then I really just need to do some mascara and I will be ready to run some errands. So, if you want that um, multitasker that I used for my eyebrows, you can take a little bit of that darker color and you can put it on your eyelid too. So this is the contour color that I'm just putting there to make a little bit of an eyeshadow effect. And I'm just using what's left over on my brush. So you can use the cream everywhere. You can use it as eyeshadow like I did up here. I used my cheek color right here. I used my contour color up here. And mascara. And I'll be done. I'll put a hat on today just so I don't scare you guys with my bun. But anyway, easy makeup. I love putting it on. It just just evens everything, but it looks really nice. It feels really nice. It doesn't feel like I have a lot of makeup on. My skin moves with it really well. And when you're up close even, I mean, it's just nice and smooth. It doesn't seem to gather in, in fine lines as much. It's definitely not drying. If you feel like you're a little bit oilier, you can set it with powder. Um, what else can I show you? I think I'm really, this is all I'm going to do. So I think I'm pretty much done. I'm not going to do a bunch more. Yeah, I think that's good. So there it is. That's it. Done. Easy. Run errands. You're done. This may be your everyday normal makeup look. I tend to use a little bit more on my normal day, but I feel very comfortable going out like this. And I just love this makeup so much. So... Alright guys, have a beautiful day.